the Aston Martin AMR21. Take a quick look at the front end of that car and you might think it is really just a green Mercedes. Let's not forget, this is a car that's predecessor was really a straight copy of the 2019 championship winning Mercedes W10. And looking at the front of the car, as I said, it does look like it's the same story once again with Aston Martin in 2020. So there you can see the W10 nose and the RP20 nose from 2020. And the Aston Martin AMR21 nose it's literally exactly the same. It is a copy of the 2019 Mercedes nose. There is no two ways of describing it. That's the case with Aston Martin. Last year, the brake ducts of the Racing Point RP20 caused a huge amount of controversy, and quite rightly so. Almost spoiling to call a little bit more controversy, I thought I'd take a look at the front brake ducts of the Aston Martin AMR21. And at the launch of the car, it was fitted with these, the Mercedes 2020 brake ducts, exactly the same as the RP20 used. However, coming into pre-season testing, Aston Martin introduced a completely new brake duct and ran that on the first day. But going into the second day of testing, Aston Martin had reverted to the RP20's Mercedes-based brake ducts. So there is some development going on there. And I think the brake ducts that Aston Martin brought along perhaps didn't work as intended, or they just wanted to compare the two. For me, the identity of a race car comes from its monocoque, its chassis. The chassis is the heart of every single racing car. Keep the same chassis, in my opinion, that's still the same car. So a lot of teams up and down the pit lane have kept last year's chassis. So really, in my opinion, despite the new names, Red Bull got it right by calling their car an RB16B. It's a B-spec of an existing car. It's not a new, new name. However, that's not true for the Aston Martin AMR21. This is not merely a modified Racing Point RP20. This is a completely new car with a new chassis. And I'll show you what I mean. The side pod inlets of the car. So have a look at the Racing Point inlet here. That is during the Russian Grand Prix. You can see that big bulbous shape at the top of the side pod inlet. That is a high side impact structure. Those side impact structures are mandatory for every single car. Well, the Aston Martin AMR21, you'll notice here, has a low side impact structure. It's below the radiator inlet. And that is a key, key sign because that's part of the homologation procedure for every single chassis. You can't just take that side impact structure and glue it on a little bit lower down. You have to completely re-engineer the composites in that part of the car. It's a big engineering job. And for me, that is absolute definition that this is an all new racing car. The AMR21 is a real Aston Martin. Late in the 2020 Formula One season, Racing Point introduced a major new update to the RP20. And it came along with a completely different side pod shape. Well, for 2021, it won't be a great shock that with a new side pod inlet shape and new crash structure on the AMR21, that Aston Martin has moved away from that racing point concept altogether, has introduced a completely new rear side pod shape and concept. That should have some aerodynamic gains for the team, though it remains to see how effective they're gonna be. The biggest talking point of the 2021 season is, of course, the rear floors of the car. And on the Aston Martin, it's just, the story is absolutely true. We saw it for the first time, a new floor on the car coming into the first day of testing. You can see these sections around the top. It's another one of those wobbly floors like Mercedes. But check out these sticky outy bits in the middle. They are quite important to the flow conditioning. Then at the rear, just ahead of the rear tyre, you have a whole set of those little sticky uppy fingers. That again is about controlling the airflow between the rear, rear wheel and the side of the diffuser. That's crucial. And it does seem, looking at the car out on track, that the Aston Martin is one of the better cars through some of the corners. So a lot of people are already asking, how has Aston Martin been able to make such a big step year on year? And the reason is that Aston Martin, well, as Racing Point last season on the RP20, used an awful lot of 2019 Mercedes components you're able to upgrade the homologated parts that you normally have to use a token to upgrade from 2019 to 2020 parts without spending any tokens. That's how Aston Martin were able to introduce that new chassis and nobody else was. Aston Martin 
got new uprights, new suspension parts and a new gearbox, the 2020 Mercedes gearbox, not the 2021 gearbox, because that would have cost two tokens. They were able to bring their car forwards in a way that no other team in the pit lane has been able to do because they didn't use all those 2019 parts. And that's why the Aston Martin AMR21 is the only really new car in Formula One this season.